what's going on everybody? Welcome yourself back to another part of my Pokemon X Wonderlock series last part people We went down um, More went up rather this one path to this fucking big ass mansion or whatever the hell is referred to as here We explored around it Fucking, we got another encounter, all that sort of wonderful junk. We're probably going to be getting another encounter here today, and we're going to finish exploring this because, Jesus fucking Christ, there's a lot to explore, to say the least. Like, I... I'm, I still have, like, half of this fucking place to explore, but it's said that the kings, or that kings of ancient times would use Pokemon as, just, as centuries? I bet that they use Pokemon with the Insomnia ability since they'd never have to sleep. Hmm, okay. This place is fucking bizarre. <laughs> like, there's so much weird little things that I never noticed when I originally played through the game here. Like this! What the hell? <laughs> okay. I never noticed that. Like, that's, that just seems so fucking out of place. But alright, what do you gotta say? Well, get a look at these chairs. <sighs> did, it did it really just say terrific? Did it really just... <sighs> I'm, I'm disappointed with that pun, but... Hmm, well, according to the guidebook... What room should we look at next? Uh, when can I get souvenirs at this place? You know, like, or, you know, something like a lava cookie. Uh, alright. Hmm, I, I think th this part is, like, a lot more empty than the other side, but there's still quite a lot more. I think it would be so much better if he had a lively dinner with everyone, instead of uh, a full course meal alone. For the owner of this palace, every meal is a feast? If you've never known anything else, a meal that- or a meal like that seems like- or seems completely normal, okay? You know, this, the, the whole setting of this place is just really fucking bizarre, because you never- You don't really see many areas like this in any Pokemon game. I wonder what the king of the Kalos region thought about Pokemon. Uh, he, he probably liked them. He, I, I don't really know what else I could say about that, but I feel like I'm in a dream. I don't, this place just is weird. Alright, what do we got in here? This room was once completely adorned with all manners of gold and silver works, jewels and metals. Then what the hell happened to it? Whoa! That, that's all you gotta say? I expected at least a little more, I don't know, anything from that guy, but alright. Guess I expected maybe a little too much? Alright. This room used to serve- oh, nope, damn it, I accidentally fucking moved. This room used to serve as a waiting room for Pokemon before they were brought out for battle. Alright, and again, more weird, like, paintings. Like, there's so much stuff here that I, for some reason, never noticed. It's just strange looking at it now, especially. Who the hell are you? I'm a traveling minst minstrel wandering the world. Please listen to my song and hear my words. The Kalos region, now upheld as fair from ancient, or fair from ancient days, an ugly past doth bear. The woes of war did knock on every door till man nor Pokemon could take no more. Three thousand years ago upon this shore. Would you like to give a tip? Sure, why not? How much would you like to tip? A uh, hundred. I don't- I don't- I do not want to give me more than that, but it pleases me to know that you were- or it, it pleases me- eh, it pleases me to know that you were pleased by my song, miss. Alright. So now we've- we've gone full circle. I guess we just head on through here? I really don't remember where on earth we got to head to, but whatever. Here we go, I guess. Oh god, what's going on? I'll have a look in the back. Uh, okay, you just came out of nowhere, but okay. There's a- this, this place is fucking huge, though. Keep that in mind. Like, there's so much to fucking explore around in this area. However, I do know exactly where we have to go. Oh boy, and I'm not too fond of it because I never enjoyed doing what you had to do here. Hold up, do we talk to you? I heard in the past the king would invite everyone to the garden for parties. Alright, no, we don't have to talk to you. We merely have to catch the fur fro. So, I'm... It's not gonna be too fun trying to remember how the hell I actually do this, but... It shouldn't be difficult now, should it? I don't think it would. The path over there at least to a dead end. Let's split up, chase fur fro and fur fro and corner it there. I'll keep it from getting away, so pick a spot for me to stand. Somewhere like... Over there? Over there. Let me know where you've decided, or let me know when you've decided where I should stand. If the two of us can work together, we can solve this puzzle and catch Furfro. All right, so where? The, okay, Furfro's over there. So stand over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so right here. Or actually, wait a minute. 
No, 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 no. Hold up. Can you wait here? No, okay. Um... Okay, I, I think... Ah, oh, shoot, there's so many places it can go. But I'm gonna take a wild guess and say that if I put it- If I put Shauna there and go from here, he might go up? Okay, nope. He's gonna go right? Yes, he is. Alright, Shauna, I'm gonna need you to move. I'm gonna need you to move in specific right here. Come on now. Yes, 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 this is a good place to wait. So if we do this, we can force him up. And now... I believe I have to put Sean all the way over to the left here. Ah, oh, shit, no, I can't. Um... Okay, no, if I put her here, though, I'm pretty sure the Furfro can't get away, so let's, let's do that. I guess? Okay, yeah, no, I, th I think this should be good. Ha <laughs> ha! I remember actually having a tough time when I first did this. And I sound really stupid saying that, but you gotta remember, I didn't, I was not on my A game, I will say, but oh, my dear Furfro, my beloved Furfro. Could you two be, or could you be the two responsible for my wonderful reunion with my dear Furfro? How wonderful indeed, it's marvelous, simply marvelous. A situation like this demands fireworks. We shall put on a show, boom, boom. My Pokemon and I are reunited. Our bond has been proven. We'll com or we'll commemorate this joyous occasion with a tremendous fireworks display. And it will also serve as a reward for the tiny bit of trouble you went to. Rendezvous at the balcony. Do you understand? Rendezvous- yeah, yeah, yeah. You can reach the balcony from the second- okay, yeah, I know where. Now what's good is I'm recording this a bit later in the day, so it is actually going to... be a little bit on the darker side. And the fireworks are actually gonna look decent, I suppose. Now what sucks is, it's not actually that l it's not super late. So it's not actually like, dark in the game. It's only like, kinda sorta dark, you know? But I mean, hey, it's- it's- it's in- it's good enough, I guess, you know? Like, it could be better. But we just gotta deal with it. So you gotta... Head on to the right, or left, it doesn't actually matter. We just have to head to the second floor. And then we can go to the little middle area. Okay. Pretty simple, nothing too crazy. Although I'm still not over how actually nice this this whole little walkway is, but... Alright, shabam, here we are. Do we talk to Shauna? Okay, yes we do. Like I said, this would look so much better if it was darker, but it's not. Um, you know... I really hope we get to be great friends, Luna. I- I don't. You're annoying as shit, Shauna. You're really fucking annoying. And you're a terrible- <laughs> You're a terrible rival. <laughs> we haven't- or we haven't even seen them yet, but I know I'll never forget these fireworks. So I watched some of the- okay, you're- you're getting too far ahead of your- of yourself, for fuck's sake. Shabam! Oh, that's so pretty. Too bad this has no real story significance or anything. This is merely just a sidetrack from everything that's going on. Wow! That was amazing! Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're gonna keep going on. Oh, I'll never forget this. Oh, I'll never forget this. You'll probably forget it. But anyway. And that was my wonderful fireworks show with Ford, my fur fro. I assume you're satisfied with that. Oh! I almost forgot. Uh, the Pokey Flute. That's right, we need the Pokey Flute to wake up Snorlax. <sighs> the Pokey Flute, huh? Go get it. It was sh sh I'm not even gonna say that. Castle's treasure, but I took it as payment for a loan. A rich guy like me and a common person like that just don't go together. Alright, it's a little weird, but give it to them. Here's the Pokey Flute. I mean, that's cool and all, I guess, but... Now that we have this, we're actually gonna be able to wake up the Snorlax, and that's probably... Gonna be another encounter. I'm hoping I don't fucking kill it by accident or something. I wanna make lots of memories on my journey. But I think I'll try and forget about him. <laughs> you can imagine how stressful running this place is for him. That may be so, but... Oh, that's right. Mr. Butler, do you know anything about Mega Evolution? Uh, I remember reading a book in, uh, on that subject in the Palace Library. 
It had something to do with, uh... With what you'd now call a trainer holding a mysterious stone high and making Pokemon evolve even further. Also, it's not much, but I would like you to have this. Okay. I was actually- I really had no clue what he was gonna give us, but I mean, hey, it works. Protecting blocks Pokemon is opposing moves. Yeah, 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 okay. I, I know how Protect works. Alright, we have to be sure to give that flute back after we wake up Snorlax. I mean, uh, truth be told, I don't even remember if I... I don't remember if you're actually, like, forced to give it back or what. But if you're not forced to give it back, or you just simply don't give it back manually, then I never gave it back. <laughs> In my, in like, my original playthrough. And in that case, whoops. But I'm, pr I'm pretty sure you do just manually give it back. I don't, I don't see why they would put such an emphasis on, you know, giving it back and then not sort of forcing you to do it, you know? But alright, time to head on back my little, oh, almost forgot an item. Time to head back through my least favorite area of this whole game. And honestly, it seems like an exaggeration, and I've mentioned it many times, but honestly, I... I don't know, I've just really never liked this area for whatever reason. It just, it just never really interested me or really sparked any sort of, you know, uh, just anything. It's just, it's just, it exists, and that's it for me, really. <laughs> Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. And now on to the Snorlax. Let me make sure I have a good Pokemon out in the front, and a Pokemon that won't fucking kill Snorlax in one hit. Okay, Dustox is probably gonna be... Pretty good, I'd say, against the Snorlax. I'm not sure completely, uh, or how well that'll work completely, but we'll, we'll see here. Oh, it's you two. Did you actually manage to borrow the Pokey Flute? Uh, yeah. Thanks! Well, you're the only one who can play, right? Snorlax can be grumpy when it wakes up. It might attack. I'll play the flute right now, but are you ready to stop it? Yeah, I guess. Feels nice to have this flute in my hands again. Okay, I guess I'll start playing. Oh boy. Am I truly ready for this? I honestly don't know. Cause Snorlax is, uh, he's... If you're not familiar with Pokemon, Snorlax is, uh, he's, he's pretty fucking pokey. He has a lot of defense. Oh fuck, he's a bit stronger than I thought. Um, you know what, Pancham? Come out real quick. I, I think you might be good in this fight. You know, I was originally just not even gonna consider using Pancham, but Jesus fucking Christ. A level 15 Snorlax is a little scary, I will admit. Ooh, dear, that attack is a bit more than I was expecting, really. Alright, Karate Chop, how much are you gonna do? Don't do too much, don't do too much, don't do too much, don't do too much. It's pretty alright, I guess. Oh, he's gonna heal, isn't he? Of course he is. Now, what's good about that, actually, is... Oh, fuck off with the defense crow. I was gonna say what's good about that actually is the fact that now it'll make it really easy to capture Snorlax. Now honestly, I don't even remember if I originally caught Snorlax or not, but regardless, I'm going to try and catch Snorlax here because an encounter is an encounter, so I want to try and make the most of it. I'm gonna use a Pokeball at first just in case it's one of those instances where whatever Pokemon or Pokeball I throw out first just doesn't really end up being effective. Come on... Damn it! Alright. I'm really afraid of attacking again, if I'm being perfectly honest, but... Uh, I'm gonna try Comet Punch. That's probably not gonna do too much, right? I would hope not. Alright, no, it, it, it did like nothing. Oh shit, I forgot it attacks multiple times. God damn it, Defense Curl again. Let, let's try... Let's try the Pokeball again. See if this works out well. I would really hope that it does, because Snorlax could... ...actually give us a fucking run for our money. Now, luckily, I don't believe he's going to be able to heal himself up any further unless he somehow has rest, which I don't believe he does. Now, what is really bad is the fact that he's boosted his defense quite a lot, so if we try and attack him again, we're not going to do jack shit. Now, that could be good for really trying to lower his uh, health, but... Oh, shit. Thank God, okay! I was really damn afraid that we were going to be here for, like, another ten minutes just trying to catch this damn thing, but no, we're fine! Nice little bit of experience there, as well. Dust Oxler Protect. Real Lagoo to level 19. Copycat, no thank you. And now we shall be having another wonderful wonder trade. <laughs> Hopefully. 
Like, I'm honest to god not sure how this is gonna go. And yet again, I still have not moved my Pokemon from the death box. I really should do that. Oh god, what's going on here? I don't know, he does come collect it back. Oh. The only thing I can do with that Poke food is put it on display. But you've been playing since you were so little and the tone is lovely. It seems like my Furfru also likes the sound of the flute. Not as much as it likes my beautiful Wonderfru <laughs> fireworks, of course. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Still, your playing sounded better back in the day. I'll let you take care of that flute, so be sure to practice more. Thank God. They didn't even say anything before they left. Was that supposed to be an attempt to patch things up? Well, whatever. All's well that ends well. I wonder what lies where Snorlax was sleeping. A lot of things, actually. Hold up, I didn't even realize. There's a fucking item here! Huh. Alright, the more the more you fucking know, I guess. Alright. So, it's wonder trade time, people. Let's see what we can get from the- No, I did not mean to expand friends. God damn it. Alright, wonder trade time. Ooh, damn it, I messed up. Alright. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Let's see how this fucking goes. This could go amazingly, this could go horribly. I have not the slightest of clues how on earth this is gonna go. We just gotta wait and see, I suppose. Alright, now... The main thing I'm hope- Okay, for a second there, I thought I didn't even connect. The main thing I'm hoping is that, seeing as I'm playing a bit later in the day, I'm really hoping that it's, uh... That we have more of a chance to get little... What's it called? Our little wonder trades faster or something. So a Snorlax, a Snorlax, a Snorlax. I'm really hoping we can get something good from this. The maximum level we can get is level 25. Uh, honestly, the ideal Pokemon I would say that I want is some sort of like some of the one of the primary types, whether it be like you know fire, grass, water, whatever. I would really want to have one of those, or just anything else really, because right now we are lacking pretty decently in just type diversity. We have fighting normal type. Ah, oh, fuck off. Luckily, we can retrade it. We have fighting normal types and. Fighting normal dark and then our fucking dust talks, of course. But it's like, that's really, really weak in terms of diversity and will probably come back to haunt us later on. I had someone meant someone in the comments actually mentioned, like, a Halucha would probably tear through my fucking team. That's not what I meant to click. But a Halucha would more than likely tear through my goddamn team. So that's actually kind of scary to consider. Especially because... I'm pretty sure, sooner or later, we are actually gonna probably come up against a Halucha or two. So I'm really not looking forward to that, especially if I don't manage to get a bit more diversity going on in my team. I might switch up my team for next part if we really end up getting a good Pokemon here in Wonder Trade. I, I don't know how that's gonna go, really. I just really hope for the best, because... Shit, man. <laughs> a Halucha would seriously devastate our team beyond... You know... Beyond anything I could really imagine. Alright, Wizmer for a Linoon. I'm still trading back the Linoon because technically it's a part of the Zigzagoon evolutionary line, so bye bye, Linoon. Our. I, I really don't. I would say I really don't want to get rid of it, but my Zigzagoon's gonna evolve sooner or later anyway, so it doesn't fucking matter. But god damn it, dude. I, just, I can't get a break with these Wonder Trades. Two trades already, and still nothing I can, like, use. Like, come on now. Yeah, 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 I want a wonder trade. All right, let's see. We wouldn't have even been able to use this thing regardless if we had actually, like, not had a Zigzagoon or not. Because it's level 30, so whatever. So, all right, first one was... First trade was already one we already had. Second one was not only one we already technically had in the evolu in evolutionary line, but it's also one that's too high leveled. What is this third trade going to be, for God's sake? We have a Japanese player. This is a good sign. Unless they are a very stingy Japanese player and give us absolute fucking garbage. Come on, I have I have faith in this person. They're from Chiba, I believe. I'm not- I'm closed my eyes. I'm hoping for the absolute best. It is a... <gasps> Ooh! It's nothing crazy. But that could be the start of something. Alright, the main thing though, is it a boy or a girl? Is it a boy or a girl? It, which is it? Actually, I can go back to the PC, but... Which is it? Which is it? Which is it? Ooh, Gardevoir! Ooh! 
I like? I really like Gardevoir. Gardevoir is a really fucking good Pokemon. At least I think so. I also personally just prefer Gardevoir over Gallade, mostly because... In a lot of instances, you're probably gonna want a Pokemon with, uh... Better special defense, you know? But alright. I guess that's gonna be it for this part. I'm gonna fucking heal up real quick and all that. Josh gave us a nice, okay. Not sure where the fuck Josh came from or anything, but actually... Was Josh one of the people that traded with us? He might have been. But alright. Uh, let me just double check the PC again. First off, let me not only double check the PC, but let me organize these fucking boxes because I have these three Pokemon here that just don't belong here. So hold up. Damn it, not what I meant to do. There we go. Now I can put these three right here. And we'll be done there. All right. So, people, if you have enjoyed this part of my Pokemon X Wonderlock, be sure to drop a like as well as a comment. Be sure to subscribe if you're really feeling it. And I shall see you guys next time. Bye bye. Bye.